Doncaster's Five Minute Histories present The Tale of Joan Jerdy. This is a fictional representation of a true story. Names have not been changed. Bailiff, bring out the accused. Prune! Witch! Witch! Hang! <laughs> Witch! Order in the court! Joan Jerdy, wife of Lena Jerdy of Rossington, thou art here accused that not having fear of God before thy eyes, thou hast had familiarity with Satan, the grand nemesis of God and man, and by his provocation and help thou hast had unearthly way afflicted and done harm to Jeanette Murphy, wife of Peter Murphy, for which, by the law of God and the king, thou hast deserved to die by hanging. Joan Jerdy, are you a witch? I am not your worship. I have no special powers. Have you seen the devil, Joan Jerdy? I have certainly not, your worship. Prosecution, you may call your first witness. I swear by the holy word of God that the evidence I shall give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Mr Murphy, please tell the court what happened to you and your wife in November last year. My dear wife, Jeanette, having gone into labour, invited all the women in the village to attend the birth. As tradition dictates, your worship, and I'm sure you're aware, that all the women in the village are meant to come together during such an occasion. Of that, I am aware, Mr Murphy. But Joan outright refused the request. Lord knows why. My wife was very displeased, your worship. Thank you, Mr Murphy. And how did the birth go? It went as expected, sir. My wife and child were in excellent health. Then what happened? Joan eventually came to visit us a week too late. Again... As tradition dictates, we offered her some labour cake and some drinks to share with my wife, but Joan insulted us further by not participating. Within two days, my wife herself began to refuse food, and before too long, she couldn't eat meals at all. Her milk turned to blood. Both mother and child starved. And before Joan had visited, the babe and your wife were well? Yes, sir. They were fine until the witch put a curse on our house. Within a couple of days of her visit... Their health began to wane. She'd clearly been bewitched by this... This... Wench! I'm sorry to bring back such painful memories, Mr Murphy. You may now step down. If you give me permission, Your Worship, may I call a second witness to the stand? Permission granted. I call to the stand the deceased sister Anne Judd. How well do you know the defendant, Anne? I know her fairly well, sir. My husband and I have been to her many a time for cures to ill health. So you can testify that the defendant, Joan Jerdy, has used her magic on you and your family, Anne? Absolutely, sir. My husband and I have been suffering from a rash, and she gave us a remedy which sorted it right out, sir. She also cured Jane Speet's calf the other week. Interesting. Do you have any reason to believe that the defendant would use her special powers for the devil's work? Well... When I heard that my sister and her baby were ill, sir, I decided to pay Joan a visit. Since Joan had been to visit them a couple of days before me, I naturally inquired after the health of mother and babe and thought Joan might provide something to help the child, sir. And what was Joan's response? Well, she mixed up a potion with honey and sage leaves. Handing it to me, I mean, with the look of something wicked, she said, She is not at the worst. She will be worst yet and then gave me instructions to apply the potion to the babe's lips. I immediately hurried to my sister's bedside with the potion in hand. And what did your sister say to you when you saw her? My sister told me she was... ridden with a witch! <laughs> oh! Witch! Witch! Oh! Hey! Our friend and neighbour Catherine can also testify this too! Thank you, Anne. That is enough. Is Catherine Dolphin here today? I would like to hear what she has to say. I swear by the holy word of God that the evidence I shall give shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Catherine Dolphin, is it true that Jeanette said she was ridden with a witch? Yes, Your Worship. I also visited Jeanette in her illness, and dear Jeanette said to me, She hath killed me. I may never recover. Of course... It was obvious who she was talking about. Jeanette had started taking a real dislike to Joan and her 
special powers. I don't blame her. Last month, Joan threatened me and my husband, and it just so happened that our ox, cow and steer immediately fell ill and died. Which? Prosecution. Did you want to question this witness? No, Your Worship. I have nothing more to add. Defence. You have been silent so far. Do you wish to question this witness? Yes. I thank Your Worship. Catherine, may you explain to the court why Joan Jurdy threatened you? Well, she told me I owed her money. Interesting. What could you have possibly owed her for? Um, well, I... Can I remind you, Catherine, that you are under oath? Well, my little girl Hester was sick, and I went to Joan for a cure. The witch expected payment for this. And did the cure work? Did your girl survive? Well, yes. That will be all, Your Worship. It appears to me that the witness does dabble in herbology, but not demonology. Her attempts to help her neighbours cure their children and animals with herbal remedies proves her character to be good. Only her neighbours have abused this goodness of heart and used her when it suited them, sometimes not even repaying Joan for what is owed to her. Whatever transgressions and hostility between the deceased and the defendant, Joan put aside those differences to visit Jeanette and put together a poultice to soothe the babe. To those of you who have accused the defendant, know that God the Almighty will judge you for your false accusations. She is no witch, Your Worship. How would you judge this case? Do you think she's a witch? Joan Jurdy was a real person who lived in Doncaster in the 17th century. She was accused of witchcraft by her neighbours in 1605, and on this occasion the mayor of Doncaster was convinced of Joan's innocence. Unfortunately for Joan, she was charged again in 1608 for using witchcraft to cause the deaths of Hester Dolphin, Jane Dolphin and George Murphy. We do not know the outcome of this case, but if found guilty, she was likely to have been hanged. We hope you've enjoyed this 5-Minute History. Doncaster's 5-Minute Histories are brought to you by Heritage Doncaster as part of the History, Health and Happiness programme and is funded by Arts Council England. For more of Doncaster's 5-Minute Histories, please visit heritagedoncaster.org.uk forward slash happy history. <laughs>